The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this, he turned around and, looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are not thinking as God does, but as human beings do. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. How is everybody? Are you happy? I was looking around if I if I see some foreigners around here. So perhaps I can speak my or I can deliver my homily in English and Cebuano. Is it okay? Well in what man kunik sulti si Father Jimmy nga English daw misa karon. Anyway, we are now in the twenty fourth Sunday in ordinary time. In our liturgy today, especially in our readings today, it is good for us to reflect. When I, re when, I re when I read the gospel, especially in our readings for today, one thing that came into my mind. Oh, our readings for today, especially for our liturgy today, it's very timely. Sa atong kahimtang karun. In our first reading, if you, if you happen to read this one before you before you came here or come here in, in, the, in the church, Prophet Isaiah is reminding us all. The, the theme in this first reading is all about the suffering servant. That all of us, all of us here, is not exempted. Is mga pagsulay o mga, ka, ka, mga kalisdanan sa kinabuhi. Even Jesus himself, he is a servant, he followed the will of the Lord, the will of his Father, and yet, he also experienced suffering. Now, Prophet Isaiah in our first reading today is reminding us all that we too will also experience suffering. Because sometimes, we always think that when we serve the Lord, when we are in here in the, in the church, when we serve the Lord, especially in different uh, terms of a way of service, we think na wala na tay problema ang maagian sa kinabuhi. Sometimes we think na kung mga lagat sa ginoo, we were kumuhigda ta sa kanagitaw og bed of roses ba. Nga hayahay atong kinabuhi. One time, when I, when I was assigned in Manila Doctors Hospital for my clinical pastoral education, na himo kong um, more than three months na nag-accompany sa mga masakiton, I encounter one one nanay. Um, she is suffering first fourth stage breast cancer. Ingon siya. You know what, brother? At that time, I was still a brother. You know what, brother? My son or my 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 children is very active in the parish. 
My husband is very active as lay minister and I am lector at the same time nag-active daw siya sa pagkakatikista. Pero sabi niya, more than half of our life we serve the Lord and yet ako karon nag-suffer fourth stage breast cancer. At first, nangutahanan ko. So, syempre, nakiramdam ko sa iyang mga pagbati. So, nangutahanan ko niya. Sa iyong mga experiences karon sa kinabuhi, what do you think is God's invitation for you? Or, where is God in this situation of yours? Sabi niya, one thing I realize, sabi niya, at first, nag-question ko sa ginoo. Sabi niya, Lord, I've been serving for you and yet you are giving me this problem. Why? Why? Then I ask her, then, what is the Lord's response? Ingon siya. In times nga, siya rada usa sa kwarto, siya rada usa na malandong o naghilom, ningon siya, iyang napamalandungan. Amidst of the sufferings that she is suffering at that moment, ingon siya, God is always there with her. Kuhaw, sabi niya. Bisan pa man, naabot na ang panahon nga, nag-crisis na siya, nga nag-down moment na siya, na ay mga tao nga nagparamdam kaniya, nga ang ginoo, nag-uban gihapon kaniya. O ang nakanindot sa iyang gingon, ingon siya, God is giving me this, God is giving me this sickness or in this situation, Because He wants me to trust Him more and to depend Him more. What? Sabi ko nga, wow. Unsa nga grasya nga gihatag sa ginoo kaniya. Grasya sa pagtuo. For us, my dear brothers and sisters, this is a reminder for us all. Sometimes, especially in this in this situation, we are experiencing pandemic, no? Kitang tanan naglisod, kitang tanan nagsuffer financial, emotional, psychological in all aspects. And sometimes dili na nato makita ang presensya sa Ginoo. In our first reading today, we are all reminded. Yes, all of us experience the suffering. But the consolation we are we have right now is the Lord is always with us. The Lord is always assuring His presence in us. Di ba nakaingon diri? Saman to diri? If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together who disputes my right. Let the man confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. The Lord God is my help. Prophet Isaiah is telling and reminding us today If we are suffering today, let us be glad and let us be rejoiced. Why? Because the Lord God is our help. He is with us. That is why He is the Emmanuel. In our second reading, from the letter, from the reading from the letter of Saint James, Saint James is reminding us all: faith without action is dead. Sa bisaya pa ninut pa minaw ang bisaya, ang pagtuo. Nga walay buhat, patay. Daghan ka na ito din. We always claim, we love the Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. And yet, we cannot, and we did not see Him. How can we say that we love God, we love Jesus, and yet, wa na ito siya nakita. Pero ato mga silingan, ato mga kauban, di kay takhebalo mo hatag o bahaw. Di kita kahibalo mo hatag o tubig. How can we say that we love the Lord and yet we didn't love our neighbors who are suffering at this very moment? Di ba? Saint James today is reminding us all: if we claim that we love the Lord, we will show it through our actions, through our words, not just words, my dear friend, my dear brothers and sisters, through our actions. Faith without action is dead. Sa iyo naman kayo may nguntang na ko sa ginoo. Nahigog maman ko sa ginoo. Eh kita na ito silingan. Mangyami ida yun ta. 
natay mga silingan na kinahanglan, magduda dahil ta. May ngunda ta. Naglisod man sa mi, Reverend. Kay crisis man, yes, true. Kitang tanan naglisod, walay, wala naglisod nato tanan. Pero hinumduman nato bisan unsa na to kalisod, wala gayoy pobre nga walay ikahatag mga igsuon. O wala usay dato nga walay panginahanglan. In other words, kitang tanan ginasahan. That is why in our theme today, especially in this year, we are gifted to give. All of us are gifted and yet we are we are all encouraged and it is our mission to give to those people who are in greatest need, especially at this very moment in time that we are experiencing pandemic. Amen? In our gospel today, nindot sa pamalandungan, Jesus asked Peter, Who do people say that I am? According to them, you are John the Baptist, you are Elijah, etc. You are one of the prophets. And Jesus said, How about you, my disciples? How about you, my apostles? Who are with me? Who do you say that I am? Peter said, You are Christ, the Son of God. Kabalo mo sa meaning sa Christ? Christ is the anointed. Mabito na ang Jesus Christ. Jesus is the person. But when we said Jesus Christ, He is the Son of God who is anointed. Mo nang meaning sa Kristo, Kristos, the Anointed One. Sa mo na kung mo tag Jesus, si Jesus, tao, anak ni Jose, no? But when we said Jesus Christ, He is now the Son of God because He is now the Anointed Son. He is now the Son of the God of God. Mo nang meaning sa Christ, the Anointed One. Okay. Mo ni karon si Pedro. Ninot pamalandungan ang tubag ni Pedro. Nga man nga nakaila si Pedro kay Jesus, ningon siya, ikaw si Jesus, ang Kristo, ang anak sa Dios. Kung imong pamalandungan, two different answers sa mga tao nga nag kaayo na kaila ni Jesus ug sa mga tao nga nag-uban-uban ni Jesus nga lalom ang ilang pag-ila ni Jesus. Nindot pamalandungan. So sa ato pa mga igsuon, Kung mangutana kita karon, kung si Jesus anaas atong atubangan karon og mangutana, hey, parishioner sa Babag Parish, who do you say that I am? What can you say? Kung sa man inyong matubag sa Ginoo. Kung makatubag ka, makatubag ka og sakto kung lalong na ang imong relasyon sa Ginoo. Now, this is the challenge for all of us today. Perhaps we can ask ourselves at this very moment in time, how is my relationship with my God? How is my relationship with the Lord? Kung makaingon ka, nga lalom na ang imong relasyon sa imong ginoo, salamat sa Dios. Kay makatubag ka sa tubangutana ni Jesus. Kinsa man ako sa imong kinabuhi. One interesting point here that I want to, at least to give emphasis, when Peter said, Lord, when Peter, when, when the Lord said na the Son of Man must suffer, unya, Peter rebuked him and said, Lord, may diliunta mahitabo. Ang ingon ni Jesus, you Satan, get behind me Satan. Just want to emphasize this point para natay common understanding. In theology, na may kita ko a Satan or a Satan or the Satan. So there are two different things. This one, kaning si Pedro, nagiinan ni Jesus, palayo sa tanas, wa ni nagpasabot nga sa tanas nga atong hebauan nga sungayan or sa pandanha. But, mao ni busabot, Satan ang ipasabot ay ni you hindrance. Mga balakid, pala, mga balakid sa plano sa Dios. It's good for us also to reflect. Who are the Satans in our life today? Who are the people or circumstances or situations na makonsider na to mga Satan nga nagpugong ka na to magpaduol sa ginoo? Kay nga naman, nga nung mauman ni ang giingon ni Pedro, nga unta ginoo din na mahitabo. Kaysa tanod anay lang, pag ingon ni Jesus, nga mauni ang anak sa tao, mag, ang anak sa tao mag, mag, ano, is, is, mag, mag, Lisod, mag-suffer, etc. Nipugong dayon si Pedro. Kaya nga naman, unsa may naas sa huna-huna ni Pedro? Kaya kaya ba mga egson, in, in this context, in this, con, in this particular context, 
ang mga Hudyo na ulipon sila sa mga taga Romano unya grabe nga abuse ang ilang na experience grabe nga suffering ang ilang na experience now here comes Jesus nagpakita siya naghimog mga milagro nag-assure so ang mga tao mga Hudyo nagtuo nga si Jesus na ang ilang gipangita ang misaya nga makapahawa ni nga makapaluwas nila sa kaulipnan sa mga Romano They think that Jesus is the only person who can liberate them from slavery sa mga Romans. So they are they are waiting for someone who can lead them. Parang revolution style, who someone who can liberate them from the Romans. That is why when Jesus said, "The Son of Man must suffer," ning siya, "Lord, dili na mahitabo." Yang gipugnan kay ngano man, his thinking is yung sa mga mga hudyo nga dili unta ni mo dili man ni mo among pagtan-aw sa hari nga mong ipangita hari man nga mulid namo ngano si Jesus niingon man nga mamatay siya magsakit kuha nato mao nang niingon si Jesus get out from me satan get behind me satan kay ang imong panghuna-huna panghuna-huna sa tao dili panghuna-huna sa Dios mao ni konteksto at least for us to understand no so mao ni siya mao ni siya so atong tan-awon points lang nga pwedeng atong tan-awon suffering is digid nato na siya malikayan all of us will um, experience suffering to what degree it depends pero the only thing and the only assurance that we can get especially that we can learn from our gospel today though we are suffering though we are suffering much especially at this very moment be assured that God is always with us that God is here with us, journeying with us. Just have faith, just trust Him, and everything will fall into place. Amen. Let us all stand and profess our faith together. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Maker of heaven, of heaven and earth, of all, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism, for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. We now turn to our gracious Father that He may deepen our faith and strengthen our hope as we acknowledge His Son, Jesus, as our Messiah. With hearts full of confidence, we pray, Lord, Listen to the prayers of your people. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to the prayers of your people. For the Holy Father, the bishops, the clergy, and all who exercise authority in the church, may they continue to be living witnesses of Christ amidst all hardships and pastoral concerns. We pray. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. For all government officials, 
may they acknowledge Jesus as their model and inspiration that they may render honest administration and safeguard the dignity and rights of all. We pray. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. For all catechists, may they continue to dedicate their lives to the mission of Christ as teachers and witnesses. We lift to you all their hopes and needs. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your the prayers, prayers of your, your people. people. For the sick, the marginalized, victims of violence and injustice, and those persecuted because of their faith, may they acknowledge Christ as their true, sure hope and support as they go through pressing times. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to the prayers, prayers of your people. For all the sponsors, benefactors, and donors of our church projects and undertakings, especially for the construction of our new church, that their sincere support and generosity will encourage and touch the hearts of others so that the spirit of sharing will be widely spread and God's grace will be shared by all. We pray. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. For the successful construction of our new church and the constant protection from all harm and danger in body, mind, and spirit of all those who are instrumental in its completion, we pray. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. For all the faithful departed, may they enjoy peace and happiness in the presence of the living God, we pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to the prayers of your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. Father, listen to the supplications of your faithful. Our needs are great and our troubles so many, but your love for us is far greater. Rescue us in our distress as we acknowledge Jesus, your Son, who redeemed us, our true hope and lasting strength both now and forever. Amen. Amen. 